All right, so this is pretty wild. We came down to the exact same tent that we spawned in at when we took down that huge diamond uh, a couple days ago. And what we did is came over here in order to get the tripod that we have set up down there. But we spotted this. That is a rare albino white-tailed doe. However, if you look right there, that is another giant dime potential muley buck. 300 yards away bedded on this ridge. What are the odds of that? There's the other big whitetail we saw from before, but that is one incredible sight right there. This is honestly what I absolutely live and dream for when I'm playing hunting games like this, is to be able to find these big bucks bedded out in these canyons just like this. And now we have one right there. 280 yards away from us he is an absolute giant now he's actually the big messed up rack before they fixed this it used to just be like kind of a non-typical but like all busted up rack and now they added on to it so it has two big crab claws on both sides it's a super wide really cool buck he's pretty much a guaranteed diamond as well i'd say he's gonna be well, nowhere near as big as the one that we got before because they don't get much bigger than that. I don't think they do, to be honest. I've never heard of anybody getting a buck bigger than the one that we did two days ago. Um, but this buck here will for surely score 315 plus, And I think like 313 and up is diamond. So yeah, we're looking at potentially another huge diamond muley. I'm thinking we should probably use the single shot break action pistol 4570 caliber. And we'll try and get to somewhere around 150 yards to be able to go for a shot on him. But we also have this rare albino doe and I really want to get her as well. So there's the rest of the whitetail herd there. I'm pretty sure what they're going to do is bed down somewhere on the other side of this ravine back over in here, which is almost the initial spot that we uh, jumped up that big muley in the first place. All right, so is that a completely separate herd of whitetail there? Cause I'm not sure about that. All right, let's just jump up here in this tripod and get a better view so we can figure out what's all going on here. Uh, is that the same herd? Cause if that's the case, no way is the same herd. There's our rare albino whitetail doe right there. All right, well, we know where she's going to be hanging out, so that's going to be super awesome. And uh, we can focus on this buck now. We don't have a very good wind, which is going to make for a difficult sneak on this thing. But what we could do is go in from the backside over here and try and approach from downwind. The good thing is, since we already took down that giant diamond muley a couple days ago with the recurve bow, I don't feel that we need to challenge ourselves in doing another super difficult um, hunting attempt as in trying to take him down with a recurve or any kind of bow for that matter So in this case here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the 4570 pistol But I want to double check to make sure that we can actually even use That pistol there it is right there and this is gonna be Well, we have to find out what uh, class it is I mean, I'm pretty sure we should be able to use it, but just to be safe Four to nine. Four to nine. We're gonna be using the saw point flat nose bullets. And we'll double check real quick here to find out exactly what class that is. He's class five. So that means we'll be able to use it on him. Where did these white tail come from all of a sudden here? That's kind of random. I mean, the fact that we got white tail trotting through here during their drink time. It's a little bit interesting to me. Because if these white tail are here, then where are these white tail going to go? There's no place for them to drink down here. So your guess is as good as mine because I can't quite seem to figure this out. We got all these white tail right here. And though there's no huge ones, that's a decent buck there. It would be kind of cool to go for a far shot since this thing's out there 300 yards. It would be kind of cool to just see 
what we can do kind of with this uh, 4570 break action pistol. Not only that, we haven't used it in a good while, so who knows how we're going to even do with it. Uh, we'll grab the Hyperion and go for it. Let's see if we can even zero in for uh, 250 here. What do we got? 218 yards. Okay. Okay. So there's a doe there. About 220 yards. Wow. Woo. Well, that'll certainly do the job. Huh. That will certainly do the job right there. Holy. Was that impressive? I mean, we could probably take this doe down from here with this thing, to be honest. 4570, 400 yards away. I don't think it would be able to take him down. And our buck did not get spooked. In fact, he's perfectly chill right there. So we're already out here at 270 yards. That means technically we only need to get about 50 yards closer. If that's the case, we could go for a pretty epic shot. But we got to make sure we reload this thing so we can have a bullet. And boy, is that going to be one heck of an incredible angle for a shot right there. I don't know why, but he just got up randomly. Oh, he's now officially blocked behind that brush. We had the perfect setup. Not to say that we still might get a decent setup if we get to the other side of this brush here, but it's not going to be anywhere near as good as it was. Man. Well, if that's the case, we're probably going to be about in range of this albino doe as well. I just love the fact that this spot is so incredible here. And as soon as we came here, I knew that this spot had a lot of potential for some huge bucks, which is why we passed up a couple of whitetail in this area, as well as coyotes, just because the fact that I knew there was a potential for some giants to be lurking around the corner. And now we're about to go back to back on giant diamond muley right here. So that's a shot that right there. Here's a shot. 220 yards. Well, zero for 218, which is honestly pretty much perfect. And there's our buck. Smoked him. He's going down. And he's down. What a giant buck and what an incredible shot with the new 4570 break action pistol. Oh man, that was awesome. So we held kind of upper lung. I didn't want to hold too high because uh, I didn't want to potentially catch the spine, but also I didn't want to hold too low because we didn't want to drop in there and accidentally hit the front shoulder. So we held kind of mid to upper lung for 220 and uh, I think we did pretty good. I think we did really good. Well, anyways, there happens to be our white-tailed doe, our albino white-tailed doe, for that matter. And we can, in fact, take a shot on her. We don't really need to use a 4570, but I feel like we might as well. And we gotta be careful for this location here, because we keep getting a bunch of honey pressure, even though I try and always clear it out as much as possible. Just because this spot is so good lately. It's so good. So we do have a huge white tail buck there. And we may be able to potentially take him on the run if the pressure is good. Yeah, we should be able to take him on the run. We do have the AR-308, which will for surely do the job. But if we don't get a shot on him, it's not the end of the world. All right, so right there, we're looking at 230 yards on this rare albino doe. She's facing directly at us, which is not going to make for an easy shot. But... I believe we can make it count. Wow! Perfect heart shot. Perfect heart shot right there. Wow, that was epic. All right, let's see if we can get this buck. Not going to be happening because he's going to go through that brush. 
and we're never gonna see him again unless he happens to come out to this opening here if that's the case we might get a shot but it looks like that's not gonna be the case yep oh 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 Mmm, we could maybe take a shot through there, but uh, uh, I do not want to lose this zone. Absolutely do not want to lose this zone. Okay, let's mark our rare albino whitetail right there that we dropped on the spot. And then let's go down here and take a look at our huge dime potential buck. They're going to go right through there, huh? All right, so the white tail are going to cut across right here, and actually, our buck was bedded right there. Then he ran off this way. There's our big buck right there. I mean, we could probably take him down with the bow, to be honest here. Oh my god, we hit it. Oh my god, we hit it. <laughs> 55 yards on the trot with the recurve bow, and we hit it. I don't even know where, but it's going to probably take it down. Nonetheless, we got to find out where our big muley was. I'm pretty sure he was bedded right over here. Yes, that's where he was, and that is some pretty good blood right there. Nice vital hit. And he ran through here, right along this brush. There should be some more blood up in here somewhere. He didn't go very far, and he piled up right here. It looks like there's no more blood, but he is piled up. Oh, there's some blood right there. He is piled up right here, and this is potentially another monster diamond muley. Let's pick him up and find out. It's going to be another diamond. 321.37 diamond. 320 plus diamond muley. And we pulled up a 222 yard double lung spine shot. Holy, another diamond. What are the odds of that? Back to back. Huge diamond muley out here in the mountains of Rancho del Arroyo. Wow. I told you we'd be a little bit high. The fact that we did get vertebrae has me a little bit concerned, but uh, we were angled pretty high up shooting downwards. And what I didn't want to do is accidentally drop down below the lung here and miss everything. So the fact that we caught lung as well as spine and we hit the other lung as well is super, super cool, in my opinion. So an awesome double lung shot and another giant diamond muley back to back. Look at the spread on that thing. Yeah, he's not the prettiest looking diamond, but he definitely is a pretty sweet diamond. Look at all the kickers here. He's got one, two, three, four points all right there. Same thing on this side as well. He's got three points on one time, just alone. It's gonna cost another $5,000, but that is definitely a mounter buck in my books. Holy. And as we're heading down here to pick up our rare albino doe, I'll show you again the location that we're at. Oh, we also have to go track down, oh. I was so scared that we might have lost the zone for our big buck, but we didn't. Uh, we also have to go track down that white tail that we took down with the recurve bow. But we're over here by Paso de los Descamados, which is on the very southeast end of the map here. You can see we spawned in right here at this outpost, came all the way through here, and then we crossed over, I believe, right here. Got all the way down here. Well, if we wouldn't get stopped every second. Uh, so we crossed, after, we actually crossed right here. Went across these mountains here. Came across this opening here. And got all the way down to here, to this lake, right down here. But, there's an outpost right here. The Casa de los Gonzales. And we happened to set up our tent right here. This is the key. You want to be on top of this mountain here. There's only a little spot where you can set up a tent. So you really want to be careful. But once you set it up there, you can see everything we've taken down a huge diamond muley right here with the recurve bow and a tree stand and today we just took down another one bedded right here um with the 4570 pistol the albino doe is down right over here 
Yeah, this is honestly what I've been dreaming about in a hunting game for the longest time. I remember when this map first came out and I tried to hunt this way. I tried to, but there was really no good locations. And every time I went to a good spot, the only good spot that we really did have that had potential was on the very north end of the map over here where we took down that whitetail uh, and the muley a couple times. That's a really good spot, but there's never any super special bucks up in there. So a lot of times we'll just go there and see like somewhat decent bucks. And if we saw even a big four, we would freak out. But uh, here, this is this is a whole different story. This is about as good as it gets. This here is exactly what I've been dreaming about. Well, here we have it. Our rare albino white tail doe. And we pulled off a perfect heart shot. 230 yard heart shot on that rare albino doe. And these things are super cool, even though it's a female. It's still gonna get mounted because these things look amazing, full body mounted next to big diamonds or even rares in the trophy lodge. Boy, we just spent a ton of money here and it looks like we, yeah, we lost uh, about 7,000. We're still sitting at 1.4 million, so we should be good for a while, but uh, wasn't expecting on spending that much that fast, if you know what I mean. Holy. Now I suppose we need to find a spot for all three of these cool animals. We were just about to head to the trophy lodge and take a look at our big bucks, but then I remember we needed to track down that big white tail. Well, we had some blood going right out here across this field. And if you look right there, you can see our buck is piled up right over there. It looks like he went about 150 yards and piled right up. Could there be any more deer around this area? Seriously, they're absolutely everywhere. Like I've never seen a spot on this map where there's this many deer. I just, I haven't. I mean, every corner we turn, we're seeing deer right now, and we're not even looking for deer, which makes it even more wild. But anyways, here is our big buck. Oh, why is there a vital hit right there? That's, this is not our big buck, but he probably ran over here somewhere. This is the doe that we shot in the very beginning, 228 yard double lung liver shot. This is the first deer that we shot. Oh, uh, that's kind of funny actually, but this here is blood from our buck. So we're trying to track him down and figure out where he went. That's funny. I was wondering why I couldn't see any antlers on him. He's going to go a long ways, but I don't know if we're going to find this thing. Uh, is that his track? Hmm. Well. All we can really do at this point is just go up. We should be able to see him from up here. I haven't seen any more blood either. Buck tracks there. No tracks, no blood. Not much of anything, really. There's a doe out there. This is another really good viewpoint up here. You're telling me we can't find this buck? There's a buck there, another buck there. Another buck there. Oh, more honestly, gonna have to get chance. Cause the tracks disappear. I don't even know if he's gonna be able to help us find him without tracks. Hopefully. All right, we'll throw him on the track. Oh, muley buck just jumped up right there. Holy. We'll throw him on the track here. Let's see how he does. He's barking. I mean, that's kind of the direction he went. Oh, decent ram. Not sure why he's just standing here. Oh my God, he found him. Dude, he literally found him. Nice job, buddy. Nice job. Wow, that's impressive. That's honestly super impressive. Good job, buddy. Good job. Good job. I was not expecting that to happen. And look at the rack on this buck as well. That's awesome. Attaboy. 
It's going to be a 219, and our shot went a little bit low and wide right. He was running, so to be fair, yeah, that's definitely not an easy shot. But we dropped a little bit low. I think if we were forward more... I mean, we might have gotten bottom of the long intestine, potential liver shot, but... If we were way forward, then we potentially could have had heart if we were, like, right here. But we were definitely a little bit low. The fact that we're zeroed for 65 and we still hit low is kind of concerning to me, but... Yeah, we got him down. Well, Chance found him down. We definitely did not find this thing. We literally ran out of tracks 100%, and then all of a sudden he started barking. Came right to him, just like that. Atta boy! Thanks for the help.